Kylie Thomas is live in Cincinnati where friends and family and Chattanooga police officers are remembering Nicholas Gallinger. Kylie. Yeah, Officer Gallinger's visitation just wrapped up in the last few minutes here at this church here in Cincinnati where we are right now. Hundreds of people pouring in, sharing some of their favorite memories of the officer who was killed in a hit and run Saturday night. Cincinnati dressed itself in blue, both in decorations. Losing Nick has been the hardest thing I've ever done. And mood. And it's... Like we're only halfway there. Doug Gallinger is embracing his family for the first time since that initial call, especially his brother's kids. When I look at Ethan, I see Nicholas. Yeah. When I look at Haley, I see Nicholas. Yeah. And it's tough. He's just one of hundreds of people who put their lives on hold when they heard Officer Nicholas Gallinger's life was taken too short. It started with sirens Saturday night. Police say Janet Hines was speeding along Hamill Road when she hit a construction sign and then Officer Gallinger. According to police, Hines drove off, leaving the 38-year-old officer on the side of the road. The Chattanooga Police Department searched nearly two days for Hines. They linked damaged parts of the car left behind to her Honda CRV. On Monday, she turned herself in to Chattanooga's police headquarters. She's facing nine charges for the death of Officer Gallinger. While his family faces a trip they never imagined they'd take. Our little grandbabies are going to come up and say, Grandpa, why? <laughs> How did this happen? Driving to Officer Gallinger's hometown of Cincinnati to where it all started. I got the pleasure of seeing Nick grow. Mm -hmm. Like the Chattanooga Police Department took Nicholas and made him a man. But today, Doug and his family are faced with how his life ended. Officer Gallinger's funeral will be tomorrow inside this church starting at 11 o'clock in the morning. His brother and dad are both set to speak. Um, also, a local pastor will also be delivering the message as well as Chief Roddy will be giving the eulogy. We're, of course, going to be inside there and bring you live coverage. You can watch it at NewsChannel9.com. Reporting live in Cincinnati, Ohio, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. Kylie, thank you. Many agencies went to social media to pay tribute and honor Nicholas Gallinger. While driving through Lexington, Kentucky, Lexington police officers were spotted on a bridge over the interstate paying their respects. Officer Gallinger's family is getting more support from those who served alongside him. Aaron Farrar was there as CPD officers left for Cincinnati this morning to honor their fallen brother. 40 police officers, including 21 cadets who graduated with Officer Gallinger, left here around 8.30 this morning so they can be in Ohio to say goodbye. The bus behind me is loaded up with a good number of Nicholas's fellow cadet class, other officers, member of the department, and executive staff. All of them heading to Ohio to say goodbye to their brother in blue, Officer Nicholas Gallinger, who was killed during a hit and run last weekend while checking on a flooded manhole. And we're gonna continue up there today to show respects to Nicholas's family, to Nicholas himself, to the community of Cincinnati that gave him to us. Um, and just just work towards closure for everyone. Police Chief David Roddy says the community is stepping up at a time when officers need help the most. Like the local organization that chartered this bus so CPD cadets could get to the funeral free of charge. The overwhelming amount of support and friendship and prayers and love that has come from the city of Chattanooga to its police department has been nothing short of amazing. Thankful that the same people Officer Gallinger protected for only a month are now serving and supporting Chattanooga police officers. As their chief, I thank every single member of this community that has shown support for its police officers. It's truly appreciated and um, it does not go at all unnoticed. North Hamilton United for Responsible Growth is the organization that paid for the bus and for transportation costs, and a local funeral home donated Officer Gallinger's casket. Reporting outside of the Police Services Center, I'm Aaron Farrar, News Channel 9.